of uh, Novuma Asset Management. Okay, that's the lineup here over the next 60 minutes. How should you position yourself in the last hour of trade? Rahul Moinder of Viratech.com is joining us in, uh, right now. Rahul, good to have you with us here. Uh, so is this uh, the uh, definitive move or, or this is uh, not the definitive move and uh, we are still waiting for the definitive move? What's your sense? Would you trade on the back of this momentum we've opened up on the downside? I think you asked a million dollar question. Definitive is the word in this market. But uh, yeah, I think you you put it very well. I was hearing you a little earlier in the show. 17,800, 18,200, that's the range everyone's kind of uh, eyeing. And you know, we've seen this time and again uh, in terms of rotation. Uh, as we're at the lower edge, we seem to pick up. So I think today's drop, we're not able to ascertain why exactly it is. It could be, of course, expiration volatility. Uh, but I think uh, I'd like to put it this way, that uh, the Nifty Bank is the weaker one. And, you know, I've talked about this argument a few times before in my previous uh, appearances. Nifty Bank is what looks too weak to me. And, you know, if that's where I see maybe 41,100 uh, to 200. You know, that's the kind of zone I think we probably move to. So I think there is another five, 600 points of pain on that. But, uh, you know, if I look at the Nifty spot, yes, uh, 17, 750 odd. Uh, that's the key support or the low that a lot of people are watching. But uh, my own sense is the market does tend to get good support. And, you know, when I looked at the internals, looked at some of the heavyweights, I don't think there's that kind of a carnage that's absolutely visible on the nifty spot per se. So I'd say uh, I'd be tilted more towards selling within the banking names and more towards looking at, you know, at the lower end supports, what can I buy within nifty heavyweights? So keeping this whole theme in mind, uh, my opinion would be let's go into defensive. So, you know, names like Unilever, ITC, uh, even, a, you know, like you can see Unilever on a day like today is uh, resilient. And, and that's also suggestive technically that, you know, there's good support on the stock at about 2580. If you can keep a stop loss below 2580, go long. Uh, I think we should safely move to about 2720 levels. Uh, you know, on the other note is technology stocks also look fairly okay. You know, heavyweights like uh, Infosys and TCS, but I'll pick Infosys. You know, you could buy Infosys. 1525 is uh, very good support. So keep a stop loss, let's say 1520 uh, and, you know, go long on the stock. We should see levels of back to about 1585, 1590 come in fairly easily on, uh, you know, a bounce back. Uh, on the sell side, banking, uh, as I told you, has always been the one which uh, has been on my eye. Uh, 1780 being a stop loss, Kotak Bank can again be sold into. I'm looking at targets of 1720. If you're looking at the near term, uh, I do think this can extend a little further more towards uh, 1680 levels as well. Okay, all right, Rahul. Thanks uh, for joining in and giving us uh, that quick update. By the way, the stocks that are taking a harder knock now are Sipla, which is reacting to its numbers, is down close to around 2%.